Have you ever wondered what would happen if your favorite heroes and villains squared off against each other? What if Batman wielded the Infinity Gauntlet and fought the likes of Silver Surfer and Captain America? Well, in Hero Clicks, the tabletop miniatures game by WizKids, you can do exactly that. Bringing characters from both Marvel and DC and so many other universes, you can finally settle great debates about who would win in a fight. But before you can do that, you have to learn how the figures themselves work. So let's jump into it. So what makes Hero Clicks so unique is their clickable dials. It shows how their combat values and powers can change throughout the game. So let's take a look at Spider-Man. This is where you'll find a character's point value. In Hero Clicks, the typical build total for a team is 300 points, meaning we'd have 240 points left after we include Spider-Man. Once we reach 300 points with other figures, we'll have a full team. Next is a character's team ability. They grant different abilities in the game based on the symbol, and is described on a character's card. Not every figure will have one of these, but be sure to check the card for what they do. As you can see, there's also four distinct combat values displayed through the window of the dial. The colors here represent all the powers this character can currently use. The values represent different things a character can do. The first number on a character's dial is movement, representing how many squares they can move on a Heroclix map. Spider-Man has 8 speed, meaning he can move up 8 squares. This is the range value next to a lightning bolt, or in some cases, multiple lightning bolts. Range represents the maximum number of squares a character can be from its target when making an attack. The lightning bolts represent how many characters a person can target when making an attack. In Spider-Man's case, he has zero, meaning he'd have to be right next to a character to make an attack. With Batman, he has five, meaning he could be up to five squares away from a character when he makes an attack. Next is a character's attack and defense values. These numbers will be what is used to determine how high you need to roll to hit with an attack, or be hit with an attack. In Hero Clicks, you always roll two six-sided dice when making an attack. For example, Spider-Man is going to punch with his 11 attack against Batman's 18 defense. In this scenario, we would need to roll the dice, add it to the attack value, and have a total equal to or greater than Batman's 18 defense for the attack to hit. In this case, that would be a 7 or higher. With the total being 7 or higher, we successfully hit Batman. So what happens next? After a successful hit, we look at the fourth combat value, our damage value. This number signifies how many times you would click the dial. In this case, Spider-Man has three damage, so we click Batman three times. Once a character takes enough damage, you'll eventually see four red KOs. This means they're knocked out and you remove them from the game. Whoever KO'd the figure is then going to score their points. Points are added up at the end of a certain time limit to determine who the winner is, or whoever the last man standing is. Lastly, to the left of the dial, you may see a star or a cross. A star represents a character's trait, which will give them an ability that is always active for them while they're on the map. These traits will be described on a character's card. The cross represents a character's improved abilities, giving them advantages for different styles of terrain on a Heroclix map. We'll touch on terrain in later videos. For improved abilities, you can see this next to a character's portrait on their card. A running man signifies what they can ignore while moving, and a target signifies what they would ignore when making a ranged attack. For more on this, check out the Heroclix rulebook or stay tuned for more in our series. I know we just covered a lot in this video and there's still more to learn, but don't worry, I have a feeling that you're going to be able to pick it up pretty quickly as we go on throughout this video series. The next video we're going to talk about setting up a map, building teams, and taking your turns. Heroclix has been an amazing game for 20 years and I can't wait to help you have your first battle.